Hello guys, so um, the gap has now closed up um, so it just needs to be talked down I think now um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk it down and the cylinder head is 41 newton meters or 30 foot pounds so I've set this to 30 foot pounds so I shall uh, give it a go. Now what I've done is um, I've got one of these 6mm Allen sockets but you can see where I've had to just grind it down a little bit there so it goes in that hole otherwise it won't fit in. The sort of like hexagon bar thing won't go in that hole so that's why I had to grind it down but anyway I'll talk this up now and we'll see how it goes. Phew! Right it's always a bit nerve wracking doing that um, and the other thing is when I when I was talking around here it actually started pulling the engine over so I had to sort of like hold it with my, my knee against it like that um, but that's brilliant now that's fully in so let's uh, whew, let's get the shims in um, in fact before I put the shims in I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the engine over a bit I think and uh, make sure that everything's okay. Um, I know the valves won't work, but just for peace of mind, I just want to crank it over a couple of times um, and then I'll put the shims in. Right, so I turned it over um, probably about maybe 10 times with my um, mole grip on here um, with a pin and I thought, and, it, and that turned over for fine. And then I thought, right, I'll just put the spark plugs in and try it again. So I literally put the spark plugs in, maybe two or three turns. Well, oh, let me get this other one out. Fucking hell, I can't even get the fucking spark plug out now. So just to show you, so a couple of turns, that's all, for each one. And this one, a couple of turns for each one. Oops. Right, and then I tried turning it over again, and I had that pin stuck in there, and I can't understand it because there was there was I could hardly turn it. There was so much compression, and it snapped the fucking pin now in there. So fuck knows. Um, either there's loads of compression, or well. The spark plugs, to be honest with you, literally went in a couple of turns and that was it. So they were nowhere near um, fully in. And I don't think the spark plugs will be touching anyway. But what I'm trying to say is, it, can there be that much compression um, just from, you know, with all of... Mind you, I suppose there will be, won't there? Um, because if the valves are opening, they're all shut. And I'm trying to turn it with two pistons compressing at the same time I'm not surprised I couldn't bloody turn it and that snapped anyway I need to get that out now so I need a, a little magnet somewhere to get that out that's if I've got one um, but I'll carry on now anyway I'll put the shims in I'm, I'm happy that like I say I turned it over um, about 10 times um, I just held that chain up and then just um, I've got it on a padlock so it can't fall in and it's a bit of a smooth surface to turn around so I did that um, and I turned it over about maybe 10 times so you know I'm quite happy with that so anyway I'll, I'll carry on okay right so I got that pin out dead easy just with a magnet um, so these are the shims now these are the exhaust um, there's, there's only eight of them so these are the exhaust um, and then those are the inlets over there there's 12 over there um, now when I got this head, I just took them out and bagged them straight up. So I'm going to use these shims as a starting point to um, to, to start off with. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll write down the size of the shim into what which one before I put the cams in. Right, here we go. So I'm putting all the shims in now. So there's no shims in now, but I'll put them all in. 
Right, that's all the exhaust ones in. A um, bit nerve wracking because I fucking dropped one of the shims. What I was doing, I was holding it in a bit, the pliers like that, and putting it anywhere near, and it dropped. And luckily, it landed sort of like there. If it had gone down there, I'd have been fucking knackered, man, wouldn't I? So, anyway, um, so they're, they're in now. And the other thing I was doing was um, this molly oil i've squirted some on the top of the valves like that as you can see there can you see um, and, then I, and then i put the shim in with the number up and then i just put a blob of this shit on top of the shim then just before i put the bucket in so it's got some oil underneath the shim and above the shim right so now i'll do the inlets right so all the inlet ones are in now, which is good. So now to uh, get the exhaust cam on, I think. Right, I'm hoping you can see this, but I don't know if you will be able to or not. Probably won't actually. Um, uh, come on, hang on. There, I've lined it up with a T. Can you see it? Come on. No, you're not going to be able to see it, are you? But trust me, I've lined it. I've lined it up with a T in there. Yeah. No, sorry. But anyway, I've lined it up with a T and number one pistons at the top. So. Um, So number one pistons at the top, number three, number two goes right down. So there we go, right. So uh, now to put the exhaust um, camshaft in. Right, so now I'm going to install the exhaust uh, camshaft. So I've put the, the other um, chain guide in. Uh, I've just like, I've just sort of like shove some of that shit on it as well, that greasy stuff. Um, I've put a bar through there just to keep the chain there. Um, the dot, I don't know if you can see it, you won't be able to see that I don't think, let me just stick light on. There's, there is a dot there. Um, you, know, you can't see it can you? Trust me, on the top of that nut, well not on the nut, but uh, on the top of the lobe, Come on, focus. Come on, focus. There, there is a dot there anyway. You can just see it now. That needs to be facing upwards. Um, and to keep the cam in position, I've just um, slid two bars through, through them holes. Now these bars, they're from... Um, a printer so if you ever get a printer um, and you're throwing it out take them fucking iron rods out of it them steel rods because they come in handy for all sorts anyway so what i'll do now is i'll put the caps on and hopefully as i'm tightening them up these two rods will keep the camshaft in exactly the same place so we'll see how it goes right so this is just before i start tightening down the caps now Put all the bolts in. Uh, them two there. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk them because of that chain thing that goes under there, isn't there? It sits under there, I think, I believe, from memory. Um, but um, so we've got the exhaust number one with the arrow pointing there. Exhaust two with the arrow pointing there. Exhaust three uh, pointing there, and exhaust four pointing there. So, we shall uh, see how it goes. Right, so they're just down hand tight now. Um, and what I did was, I did it by hand, with my fingers, all the way across. Uh, then I got my ratchet, and then um, sort of like, start from the centre, and then just sort of like crisscrossed, worked out, worked outwards. Um, 
that dot's still facing dead upright. Um, now these need to be torqued down, so I haven't torqued these down yet um, because I've got backache and our lass is on her way home, so I might just have time to put the inlet in and then um, get the camshaft uh, tensioner on and then call it a do, but we'll see how we go anyway. Well, and I lubed all, obviously, all the things before I put them in. Right, both camshafts in. Uh, the cam caps torqued down, chain tension is in. The next step now is to, I suppose, turn it over a few times, see what the crack is. So I'm going to attempt to turn this over um, while I'm filming. So I've no idea if I can do it or not. I'm just trying to think where I can put my bloody uh, my camera um, to give you a bit of a a bit of a view. Um, there is nowhere, is there? Right, it's two seconds a minute. I might just be able to shove it on here. That might be better. So, because I don't have the luxury of having a tripod, I'm afraid. Right, I hope you can see that and it stays in focus. Is it in focus? No idea. Right, here goes. That's one full revolution. Two. Three. Right, what I'll do now is I'll try and um, get it to top dead centre again. Right, the piston's on its way up now. Yep, and the dots are still at the top. Oh, what a good do. Right. Oops. Fucking hell, I don't know what I've done here, but uh, I pressed some. Right. So that's a good do. So as you can see, I turned it over, what, it, 10 times or something. Um, and the dots are still at the top. I'll call that a success for today and just in time for tea. So, um, yep, all the holes are lined up, but we're good, which is good. So, bloody hell, guys, we've nearly done it, haven't we? Right, I'll uh, continue maybe tomorrow or the day after, so thanks for watching.